I did it. I defeated her. What does that mean? I think I know. You said this room gives you whatever you require, right? Well, you needed to know if you were evil or not, so he created that Dark Witch to test you. And you passed. You're a good person, Ivy. Well, actually, you proved that every time you helped us during the year. <laughs> Which was a lot, by the way. Thank you. That means so much to me. I still need to find out what happened to my sister, and why I forgot her. But with your support, I know it's going to be alright. You're our friend, Ivy. We'll find the truth together. Yes, we will. Now, let's get out of here. Well, well, well. What have we here? Nothing, sir. You see, I got lost again. That's all. You don't look so lost to me. But you can tell your story to the head mistress. I'm sure she'll be interested to hear all about it. We have to go to the headmistress's office. Yes. She'd do it for us. Let's go! That's quite a tale, Miss Warrington. It's all true. At least, the parts I remember. Yes. Your story does seem to be missing a few key facts. Fortunately, your recent disappearance required that we contact a guardian who, as it turns out, knows the entirety of the tale. Nana? Oh, my dear Ivy, this is my fault. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize hiding the truth would hurt you so. But you deserve to know all of it. Your sister was angry because you were going to Hogwarts, and she was not, even though you were both accepted. It's going to be all right, I promise. But we're supposed to go to school together. It was your muggle father's idea to hold Winifred back. Sometimes, when she was angry, her magic became unpredictable. He was afraid you might hurt someone. I'll talk to the professors at school. Maybe if they speak to father, he'll change his mind. You know he won't. He doesn't care. No one does. Especially not you. That's not true, Winnie. I care about you. I want us to be together. Then why are you leaving me? Stop it! You'll get us into trouble! Good. Maybe Father won't let you go either. In that case, you won't be needing your trunk. No! It was an accident. Winifred meant to cast Evanesco on your case, but she ended up hitting herself in the chaos. I found you alone in a desperate panic. Sister? No. Come back! I'm sorry! I found you alone, terrified and in so much pain. I couldn't leave you like that, so I cast a memory charm to make you forget. It wasn't my intention to erase the memory of your sister entirely. Did you bring her back? No. I tried everything I could think of, but nothing worked. I finally contacted the Ministry, but even with their help, we couldn't find her. I know it seems hopeless, I. But I'll never stop searching. Winifred isn't gone. I will find her, I promise. I believe you. But if I didn't cast the spell, 
Why do I know how to use Evanesco? I taught you that spell, along with many others. You used to have the same control problems as your sister, so I helped where I could. You got better, she did not. I'm afraid I'm not much of a teacher. On the contrary, Mrs. Warrington, I'd say you taught your granddaughter quite well. And while advanced magic would normally be a burden for someone not mature enough to wield it, the young Miss Warrington seems to have found all the guidance she needed in her fellow students. I'd still be lost if it weren't for my friends. So, I'm not going to be expelled? No, dear. I contacted the Ministry myself. They recognize that what happened was an accident. Indeed, it would be terrible to lose such a fine student such as yourself. Now, if that clears everything up... Actually, I have a question. Who gave Ivy the memory locket? I did. I couldn't take Winifred away, not completely. So I retrieved the most important memory. The truth about what happened. And placed it in the locket so she would always be close to Ivy's heart. I'm sorry the memory was so unclear. I was rushing, and must have damaged it in the process. That's all right. It gave me what I needed to find the truth about myself. That was enough. Oh, Ivy. I did the best I could. I hope you can forgive me. I do, Nana. But now... You have to help me remember. I don't want to forget my sister, even if the memories are painful. I will, dear. I promise. Thank Merlin, you're here. You haven't seen a rogue bludger around any place, have you? A bludger? Aren't those supposed to stay on the Quidditch pitch? Well, sure, but I was practicing my swing, you know, in case I decide to become a beater. I haven't decided yet, but I think I hit it too hard because the thing went all wobbly and flew off the pitch. Or maybe it was jinxed. Anyway, Kevin said he saw it bouncing around here. But I've looked everywhere, and nothing! Hmm. You know, I thought I saw something moving down by the boat dock before I came here. What are we waiting for? Let's go look for it!
it is. That's weird. It's all black and scorched, like someone took a torch to it. Last ended screwed. I guess that explains the scorch marks. What do we do now? It must have gotten out of one of Hagrid's pens. Hmm. Maybe we can chase him back with a little aerial persuasion. I know just what to do. He'll never know what hit him. Who's ready to have some fun? I can do it with my eyes closed. Fiend fire. Antipodian Opera. What do you want? Now you're in trouble. Ventus! He's heading back towards Hagrid. We did it! I'll go tell Hagrid one of his pets got loose. Anyway, thanks for the help. This was fun! Hmm. Sure, but next time try to keep the bludger on the pitch. I'll try, but no promises. I thought I'd find you here. Ugh. What's that smell? That would be the doctor's side. Hagrid asked me to brew a few bottles just in case. I'm about to take these to him. You want to come along? A bit of fresh air would be great. There you are. Hi, Hagrid. Well, is that an owl? It looks injured. That he is. Found him just outside. Must have smashed in the window trying to deliver a letter. Brought him in here to patch up his wounds, poor fella. I wish I'd known, or it would have brought a healing potion. I, I suppose I could make one. May I borrow a few things, Hagrid? Help yourself. Wherever you can find, you're welcome to it. What can I do to help? Look around and see if you can find anything we can use to help this little guy. Tempting, but if Hagrid made this pie, I'll pass. I think wormwood is used in potions. Maybe this will help. I don't want to know what this is, but maybe Daniel does. Find anything we can use to help the owl? X 
Excellent. We'll need this to brew a healing potion. I could use a hand with this. Can you help? Thanks for your help. The potion is ready, so let's see about healing that owl. Blimey! Look at that! All healed up and good as new, is he? My potion may have worked too well, if that's even possible. I think he's just feeling better. He seems to like you, Daniel. Oh, look how he's taken, dear. I'd say you've got yourself a new friend, Daniel Page. Wonderful. Rubbish. What's the matter, Lottie? Artist block? Yes. I thought coming here might clear my head, but I'm as out of ideas as ever. Is there anything I can do to help? Actually, yes. You can let me see the world through your eyes. A new perspective might be just what I need to shake this funk off. How do I do that? Take photos of various scenic locations as only you can. Really show me what you see and feel when you're there. Why don't you visit the Black Lake first? Take a walk down the dock. It's got a lovely view. Lottie was right. This is a lovely view. And so, though, it does make you wonder what's lurking in the dark depths.
shadows of the Black Lake? Yes, uh, here you go. Hopefully they'll spark your creativity. This is a great start, but I think I'm going to need more photos of other locations to fully get a feel for your perspective. Any recommendations where I should go? How about the covered bridge that overlooks the Quidditch pitch? It's so high up, you can see all across Hogwarts grounds. When I go up there, it makes me feel humble and reminds me I'm just one small part of the mosaic that is our world. Plus, it offers a fantastic view of the night sky. I've been meaning to take a walk out that way anyway. Leave it to me. most of this bridge was destroyed during the Battle of Hogwarts. I'm glad they decided to rebuild it. Hogwarts feels so grand and ancient from up here. Like it's part of the land itself. you took. I think I got some good ones. Though with views like that, it's not hard. <gasps> These are inspired! Oh, I'm really starting to feel my creative juices flow. Then why do I sense a butt coming? But I think I need to see how you capture people in order to truly understand your perspective. Do you frame them as just faces in the crowd? Or do you highlight their individuality? I've got to know. Here's an idea. Why don't you take photos of a place where lots of people gather? You mean like the Great Hall? Exactly! Would you mind taking a few pictures the next time you go? Of course, Lottie. Anything I can do to help you get out of your artist block. Not only do I feel my artist block lifting, but I also feel like I know you better. I think your inspiration is catching. Even I'm feeling more creative. You know, I find that inspiration doesn't only help you make art, it helps you make magic too. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. Beyond measure? Was that a colorful entrance? I hope so. Incendio. Essence of Ditchy. Go. 
fiend fire. What do you want? Now you're in trouble. Incendio. Essence of Ditty. Ashwander. Antipodian Emperor. tell you, a little inspiration can go a long way. Thanks again for helping me find mine. I can't wait to start creating with you.